Hi, I'm Angelo with Romeo Tree Service, and I want to take a moment to talk about these sprouts that are growing in the middle crown of this mesquite. Uh, first thing is that these sprouts would not have grown if the tree was allowed to keep its inner crown. In other words, nurture the inner crown of the tree. Uh, when the inner crown is removed, the tree initiates a response to try to regrow its inner crown, and that's why all these sprouts are growing. What's more, let me say three good things about inner crowns, why you should keep them. The first thing is that when you have an inner crown, the tree responds with the physiological response of growing everything on it thicker in diameter and stronger. If you take out the inner crown, the response is just the opposite. Everything gets weaker and longer. So it can be said that reduction, which is the kind of pruning we do, creates thickness and strength, while thinning, which is taking out the middle of the crown or even, uh, uh, lion tailing, which I'm sure you've heard of, which creates weakness and length. Secondly, we keep the inner crown so that the photosynthesis in low light conditions is a lot is a lot more effective uh, when you have more inner crown. So the further you go down in the crown, the more shaded it is, and so the uh, more the inner crown uh, does at collecting nutrients in low light conditions, uh, photosynthesizing. Thirdly. The inner crown also serves as an, a complete vibration wind, vibration reduction system. When a tree has an inner crown, that absorbs a lot of the energy of the wind, but when it does not have an inner crown, that energy whips out to the end of the long, weak limbs, and that's when you get breakage. So let me just say about these sprouts here, I like them, we're gonna leave them because the tree benefits from them in those three ways. Now, there might be some people saying, you know, why, why is he going to keep these, these sprouts right here? They're right in the middle of that union. They're going to end up getting uh, big. They're going to get too thick and they're going to be uh, get, becoming too crowded. Okay, yeah, maybe. Maybe they will. But for right now, they are going to collect nutrients from the sun in low, low light conditions. They're going to absorb vibration from the wind. And they're going to give the tree more of a response to get thicker and stronger. And I'm going to keep them subordinated from the top of the crown. I'm going to make reduction cuts on them to keep them less than so that all of these do not become greater than, so that these sprouts within this union don't get so thick in diameter that they start pushing up against the main trunk. I'm just going to make some reduction cuts to, like I said, make them less than. Uh, let's see. Reduction cuts, which again are cutting the leader back to a branch. We're just trying to keep them down here, like, like they're their own little tree right in the middle of the crown. You know, think of it, if, if, these, uh, if these sprouts weren't here, there'd be nothing in the middle of this crown. What's more is there'd be nothing protecting these trunks from the sun, except for the very top, but this gives a little bit more shade for it. So once again, I'm just making reduction cuts, uh, making these guys less than. Most of the reduction cuts are bringing them down away from the top crown to subordinate them but some of the reduction cuts are just making them less. Let's see, let's go, let me go with this. Okay. I'm gonna do the same to this one. This one is doing a lot of intruding up into the upper crown, so I'm gonna bring it down with this nice reduction cut. Can you show this one? So that's a leader back to a branch. That's a reduction cut. Cutting a leader back to a branch. And you can only make a reduction cut where the tree offers a branch to cut back to. That's another reason why we don't like to remove the inner crown because any branch you move when you lion tail is taking away a future option to reduce back to. All right, can we make another cut? Now some of these sprouts, some of these cuts I mean, are not reduction cuts. They are thinning cuts, but I'm taking out there the thinning cuts of sprouts where too many sprouts have grown. All 
All right, I'm Angelo with Romeo Tree Service in Tucson, Arizona. Thanks for watching.